Hey guys, it's Jen and I'm so excited to be back in our kitchen because let me tell you, I've been going down a big rabbit hole of watching kitchen organizational videos on TikTok. I don't know if that's just me. Is that what the algorithm is feeding me? But I swear to you, I've been going insane using my Cricut to label everything, having like all kinds of different levels and acrylic organizers and I cannot wait to show you guys. Those of you who are really wanting to see the whole process of making those labels with a Cricut, do not worry worry, I have you covered. I will be showing you that a little bit later on in the video. But let me just go back in time and you guys can see what a hot mess our pantry was. Really, I had a couple Lazy Susans, but that was pretty much the extent of the organization. It was really just jumbled. There were things kind of mixed in with other things. And I cannot tell you how pleased I am to show you what it looks like now. So what we did to start is we took everything out of both the refrigerator and the pantry. Everything was completely covering all of our counters. It was kind of wild just seeing it completely empty. Please ignore our power outlet that's not quite covered yet. We keep forgetting to tell our contractor to put a plate on there. We wiped everything down, threw away anything that was expired or unused, and that just gave us us a really fresh slate to start off with. Okay, let me just show you. Here's our pantry now. Da -da -da. So here is our pantry. Let's start from the bottom and then go up. So down here, our family really loves eating cereal, if you can't tell, but we like having a few different kinds on hand because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I tend to get sick of eating the same cereal from day to day. So we have some of our favorites up here and of course our beautiful labels. Absolutely love these, absolutely love that they're in the clear containers because you can just quickly see what you're needing from day to day. And these are so cool, you guys. You just push this open and pour it out. I love it. You don't have to like rip open a lid or anything. They're so easy and they also stay super fresh. Over here, we have a couple of different Lazy Susans. I think the thing that was really mind boggling for me is as you can tell, we have a really deep pantry. So we wanted to utilize all of that depth, but I found that lots of things in the back, I couldn't really see. One of the things that we saw from TikTok was using these level stands. We actually put a Lazy Susan on top and in front. So now we have two layers of Lazy Susans. We can just spin it to get what Whatever we need. We love our hot sauces, so we have all of our hot sauces, which are up a lot. We have a lot of hot sauces. We have that back here, and then in the front, we have stuff for PBJs and also honey because I love eating tea, drinking tea. <laughs> Behind there, I have a little shelf with some granola bars. Because we don't grab for those all the time, that's why they're sort of behind our row of cereals. Moving up to the second shelf, this aesthetically has to be the winner right here. Not only do we have our cooking oils and sauces right here on a Lazy Susan, so it's really easy to grab, our less used sauces are behind there, especially if they're really tall, and we can just sort of see what they are right away. We don't really grab for those as much as these ones up here. On the right side, this looks like a store, you guys. I'm so excited because I always find that with canned things, it's really hard to remember what you have. I don't know if that's just true for our family, because because for some reason it always winds up in the very back and they're all stacked on top of each other where you can't really see everything at the same time. But we used two sets of risers at the front and we used another one of those wire shelves and put a second one in the back so we can see everything now. And not to mention because nothing is sitting directly on top of something else, you can just literally grab the exact single can that you need. We just know when we run out of something. I never knew about these until TikTok. So this is actually an extra little shelf. It's like a wire shelf that hangs from, what do you call this? The lip of the shelf? If I pull this over, you can kind of see, I'm sorry, I'm destroying everything, all of our hard work. You can see this just kind of pulls out and we can keep things that are really lightweight. So we have our bread and our tortillas because it's right over our cans here. There's plenty of space to reach everything and this is still out of the way, but it's still very accessible if we need it, especially because I 
I'm very short and I can't always reach everything in our pantry without a step stool. So helps with the short life. Just gives you an extra little chunk of space to put things that are really easy to reach. And then at the top, honestly, I underestimated how many of the acrylic containers we would need. So I feel like after doing this, I'm just gonna get addicted to going to the store and buying them, especially if I find them at a good price, because I could use like 10 times more, I'm totally obsessed. I even made labels for the little circular pop tops. Let me show you. You can see I used my Cricut to make the labels for these little circular tops, which I think looks so cute. This way, if I have these in like a lower drawer, you can put them all next to each other and still see what's inside even though the top isn't clear. But I might actually end up making labels for the front because for now we're keeping them on the top shelf. All right, so I told you I was gonna show you a little bit more about my Cricut Explore Air 2 and how I made those kitchen labels. I have to say, the literal <laughs> actual label design was definitely inspired by a TikTok that I saw, which I love just like the very clean, modern edges. And I wanted a material that's going to be like pretty permanent and like not rub off. So this has just been super, super perfect for it. Like I said before, this is the Cricut Explore Air 2. I love the minty green color. It's so versatile. You can literally use a hundred different materials to design with, cut, transfer. You can make t-shirts. You can do so many different projects and I am personally super excited about that. Our family is just cheesy enough to really love coordinating outfits and I really want to make some customized family t-shirts. But for this project, I just wanted to do something super, super simple with these very easy to read labels with a very, very clean, basic font. So I basically pulled it into the app that Cricut has for design. Designing. I literally just picked the shape I wanted, pulled in the font I wanted. The really important thing here is to set things that you want to cut to the cut option and the draw to the draw option so that you can tell the machine what it needs to cut and what it needs to draw. But honestly, when it started going, it draws you in with how it like prints the words, but it's so crazy because you just put in this marker and it uses that to draw everything to perfection. Way better than I could have drawn that by hand for sure. If you guys actually want to check out the designs that I made, I have it saved, so I will link that below for you if you just want to like use the exact same format. And these labels are perfectly circular. They're also exactly measured to the size of the containers that I was using. I was actually really surprised with my own ability to just freehand place them on the containers and it looked perfect the very first time and I know that is because of how precise everything was cut out. I can't even take credit for it because it's definitely this machine. So I feel like just because of all of the different projects you can make and you can always like change and customize things as you go. So I think it's just like a really great value. If you know you're gonna make a lot of things and if you're definitely a really crafty person, it's just a really great investment. I'm so excited to do some more elaborate projects in the future with it for sure. I was also honestly really shocked about how easy it was to use. It's just really such a smart little system that I was just, you know, kind of like in awe of it working and doing its thing because this is the first Cricut machine I've ever used. So yeah, I also found it to be quite easy and very gratifying. <laughs> Next, I wanted to move over to the refrigerator and to be completely honest, I have never gone all out organizing my refrigerator before. We've just always used the containers that were already in place. I guess it just never occurred to me like what a life-changing change that would be because seriously this makes me really happy first of all again the same process we emptied everything and then put it all back by category we have a bunch of sauces here this looks pretty beautiful to my eyes anyway I think that the key TikTok organizational things that I learned was just having some of these acrylic drawers if you have kids and they have yogurt pouches this is just very satisfying to me. 
but we also have one for our sundubu. We have one for some fruits that are really easy to grab, which is fantastic. This size is really perfect for having drinks. I always just have them sitting upright, but I feel like anything that you can sort of grab and pull out, that's the game changer for me. That's what I didn't realize about these containers is all of a sudden anything that holds things becomes its own drawer. Once again, Lazy Susan. I have to open and close it because the refrigerator is mad at me for being open. Okay, so we have our Lazy Susan, which is so awesome to have in a refrigerator. I don't know if you guys have one of these. This is so cool. It's an egg holder. But the cool thing is that you can stack things on top of it, like deli meat. But you can also easily see when you're running out of eggs as well without having to open the entire container. Got your kimchi, got your milk, got your other drinks and your panchans. Very necessary. <laughs> Down here, we got a drawer full of noodles and some dairy things. Here we have some extra fruits and veggies, mainly veggies in this one. So I guess that is about it for our fridge. I love it so much and already I just am so excited to just, you know, be able to go in, grab a piece of fruit have it all be organized, be able to see everything. It's amazing. <laughs> that is about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this or learned something new, or if it just inspired you to organize your kitchen, I would love it if you would hit thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more videos. Thank you once again to Cricut for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.